Okay, quick look at, just quick review, uh, our solution set of the final or practice final problems 18 through 21. All right, so let's take a quick look here. On these questions, on the last questions 17, was it, well, no, was it 14 through 17, uh, they were all situations where we were finding sums or differences or simplifying rational functions. And in those cases, to check our problem, we would just plug in a random value of x that's not a zero over the top or the bottom, and then see if we get the same answer before and after. Well, in this case, being as we're actually finding solutions, we're solving an equation, in a way it's easier. We can just plug our solutions back in and see if they work in the original equation to check, which of course we should always do. So uh, what's our strategy here? Well, remember that when we're solving a rational equation, meaning an equation involving fractions, uh, then we're just going to clear all of the fractions by multiplying both sides through, distributing through the least common denominator. Well, what's the least common denominator of 1 and x and x squared? The smallest thing that they would all divide into. Well, that would just be x squared. So we know. That's our LCD, and so now all we have to do is distribute that through both sides. So we end up then with x squared times the quantity 1 plus 12 over x equals negative 27 over x squared times x squared. Remember, I have to distribute it through both sides. I have to treat both sides equally, multiply both sides by x squared because it's an equation. So if I distribute the x squared, I get x squared plus, here I get 12x squared over x. Well, x squared over x simplifies to just 12x. And then on this side, the x squareds would cancel and I would just get a negative 27. And so what we're left with is a relatively simple equation. There is one thing we need to keep track of, however. Before we can't, well, before we clear the fractions, meaning getting rid of the denominators, we do have to look at all the denominators and see what are the values of x that would have to be excluded from our solutions. Because remember, the one unbreakable rule, real numbers, is you can't, well, one of two, is you can't divide by zero, right? That's never okay. So in both this fraction and this fraction, notice that I'm dividing by a power of x, and so we can't divide by 0, and therefore x cannot equal 0. So we have to remember that. Okay, moving on. If we solve this equation, well, that's a quadratic equation. It's not in standard form yet, though, and we know that's always our first step when we're solving a quadratic equation is to put it into standard form. So we'll add 27 to both sides, setting it equal to 0. Now it's in standard form. We have options here. Uh, if it's easy to do, we'll factor the, the left side, factor the quadratic trinomial, and you apply the zero product property. Then just find the zeros of the factors that we get, which would be our solutions. And if that didn't work, we would try the quadratic formula. Okay, so this factors pretty easily. Magic numbers that add to 27 and that multiply to 27 and add to 12 would be 9 and 3. And so those give us the zeros, x equals negative 9 and x equals negative 3. So those are our solutions. Uh, none of those are excluded, so they should both work. We would, of course, want to check those. And so I'll, on the first problem here, I'll go ahead and check them. After this, I won't, just so we can keep this short. But you always should. So if I plug those back in, let's plug in negative 9 and see what we get. If I plug in negative 9, I get 1 plus 12 over negative 9 equals negative 27 over negative 9 squared. So what's that work out to be? Um, 1, that's going to be minus, and that would reduce to 4 thirds, equals negative 27 over 81. And so on the left side, we end up getting negative 1 third is that the same thing as what we get over here? Yeah, it is. If I reduce this, if I divide the top and the bottom by 27, I get negative 1 third. And so that one checks. So that's a good answer. What about negative 3? We'll check that one and see. 
uh, negative 3. If I plug that in, I'm going to get 1 plus 12 over negative 3 on the left. And on the right, I'm going to get negative 27 over negative 3 squared. We'll just simplify that and call it 9. And so on the left side, we get 1 plus negative 4, so negative 3. And on the right side, negative 27 over 9 is also negative 3. So that one checks as well. So negative 9 and negative 3 are our solutions. Okay. Moving on, next page. Okay, something like this. Solve the rational equation. Very similar. Okay, what about this? Well, same deal. We've got a rational equation, so we're going to multiply through by the LCD. This time, the smallest thing that would have x as a factor and 1 as a factor and 4x as a factor would be 4x. 